We want to welcome back Dr. Malika Marshall now to answer some of your questions about the coronavirus. And doctor, we want to start with Jennifer's question. She wrote to us on Facebook and she writes, I received my first Moderna shot on February 25th. Today, 12 days later, I woke up with a rash and a hot arm at the injection site. Have you heard of this happening with anyone else so many days after getting the shot? Yeah, so they call it COVID arm, but I don't want you to think that it's actually caused by the coronavirus. It's not from an infection. It's a side effect from the vaccine. And so in a small percentage of people who get their first dose of the Moderna vaccine, Days later, so they'll get some soreness at the injection site, you know, in those first couple of days, and then, then I'll get better, and then maybe seven to ten days later, they'll develop some redness and swelling, sometimes pain and itching around that injection site. It's completely harmless. It usually goes away within a week. It should not discourage you from going and getting your second Moderna shot, but if you think that it might be infected, like you've got a fever, or it just doesn't seem right, then have someone take a look at it. Okay, doctor, this is a question that comes from Darielle, who writes on Facebook, I'm concerned that I'm getting the same dose of the vaccine as somebody who weighs 100 pounds more than I. Should I get less because I'm thin? No, and that's because vaccine dosing is not based on weight like a lot of medications. And that's because it only takes a tiny little bit of antigen or that foreign substance to stimulate the immune system, no matter what size the person is. So for most vac adult vaccines, one size fits all. All right. Well, that makes it easy. We have another question from Facebook. This is from Lisa who writes, I'm scheduled for my annual physical that includes a metabolic blood panel. Would getting the vaccine alter the results or should I wait before getting blood work? You know, if you have diabetes, getting a vaccine can sometimes bump your blood sugar a little bit in the first couple of days. But otherwise, it, getting a vaccine, including the COVID-19 vaccine, shouldn't cause any significant changes in your routine lab results. Now, we all hope that getting the vaccine is going to make it possible for us to be together. And that is Elaine's question. She writes, I will be fully vaccinated and hope to visit my grandkids in New Hampshire at the end of the month for a couple of days. Will I need to be tested coming and going into Massachusetts or quarantined? So Massachusetts just eased these restrictions for people who are fully vaccinated. If you have no symptoms and you're returning to Massachusetts, then you don't need to provide a negative test or quarantine. If you develop symptoms, however, you do need to get tested and quarantine. Just have the proof of your vaccinations with you. Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you so much. That's right. Dr. Malik offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before you make any decisions about your health. If you have a question for her, there are three ways you can reach her. Email Dr. Malika at CBS.com, Twitter at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her Dr. Malika Marshall.